What's going on everybody? It's your boy Darskater7 and today I'm going to show you guys a really quick video on how to hook up a Bluetooth controller to your Steam Deck. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of videos that are out there that can also teach you that, but you came here to this video, to my channel, and uh, I appreciate it. So make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment. But anyway, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to show you how to hook up a Bluetooth controller and we're going to be working with my Xbox Elite uh, scuff controller. I forgot the, the nomenclature, whatever, it doesn't matter. But anyway, all you have to do is Press the steam button, and then you're gonna go ahead and go down here to settings. You're gonna go down to Bluetooth on the lower left, click it. It should already be on, but if it's not, it's on the upper right. Go ahead and enable that. And then so, on your controller, you're gonna go ahead and press the X button to, to power it on, and then right here in the front, if it'll focus up, right there in the front, you're gonna hold that little button right there until it starts to flash fast. Now it's starting to flash fast. It should, it should uh, see the device in a second. Should see the device in a second. There it is. All right, now we go ahead and click on that for it to pair. And now it is paired. So now I should be able to control the entire Steam Deck with my controller now. So I'm gonna go ahead and press back and we're gonna play a little bit of Street Fighter um, if we can load it up and find it real quick in my Steam library. No, I'll just go back. There we go. And we'll open it up. Now, it does say that, um, real quick note, it does say game info not supported. It actually is supported. You can run it. Uh, I went to the settings if you want to run it on your Steam Deck. Went to the settings, the individual settings. Went down to properties. And then I went down to compatibility. Force use of this specific Steam Play compatibility tool. And I use Proton 7 point zero dash three so it is playable and you'll see in a second that it is very very playable so we're gonna go ahead and play that one go ahead and uh, focus up here now you also see that it's showing the Xbox controller on the screen and we're gonna get a little bit of gameplay in and you also see that uh, it's also reflecting all the different buttons that are on the actual controller and not the Steam Deck All right, Capcom presents. Now it does take a while for it to go ahead and load up because this is a pretty demanding game. And it goes ahead and it optimizes the game for everything else as far as the gameplay. So uh, it's gonna take a while for it to load up because it does have to uh, sign into the uh, Street Fighter servers. But it should, uh, shouldn't take too long. And then once we're in there, we can kind of get around. I'm not sure if I even have the volume up right now. Let me turn it up a little bit, oh yeah. And you'll see it has has really good, great sound. Come on there, servers. Let's get it. Okay, sometime today. All right, the music should queue up in a second. There we go. Click through all that, and we're just going to play arcade real quick. All right, let's do this one. But as you can see, not much lag at all. Um, and you also see that it, it actually runs pretty good. Oh, who am I gonna fight against? Oh, the chick with the whip. So something like this is good for if you want to, uh, if you're on the go, you have like a little stand or something, you can go, go ahead and set it all up and play you know when you're at your aunt's house you can play when you're on the plane you know if you had a spare moment at work like i do sometimes i play uh, when i'm at work oh no you're not gonna whoop me on my uh <laughs> on my video it ain't happening not happening yeah you know what this is And you're gonna get punished. You're not gonna whoop me on my own video. It's not happening. But you see how it runs. Now every now and then I will get um, some frame drops, but right now I am running it at like, uh, I think I'm running at 60 FPS. But as you can see, it runs pretty damn good. Now I haven't done any competitive play against anybody online, but then again, I don't need to. All 
All right, we got a little bit of frame drop right there, but that's all right. But as you can see, Xbox controller is controlling the uh, Steam Deck easily. Now, if I want to get out of it, of course, I'm just treating it like it's a regular console, and I can uh, I can press the uh, Xbox button right here in the middle, and it brought that up, and I can go ahead and just stop this. So I'll exit the game, and then let's see. I'll go back and. Uh, Let's do some emulation real quick. So uh, let's go. Let's go to emulation station. Also, I did install this earlier today, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. But let's uh, do some emulation station and load that up. And you can see the interface on that. And I want to play. Uh, I want to play a little bit of Mario Kart. So we have a Turbo Graphic 16, Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo Game Boy Advance, all the good stuff. I can click through all those at any given time. And we're gonna play a little bit of uh, Mario Kart 8. And run it with the Xbox controller. Now, don't tell Nintendo that you saw this on my channel. Yep. There we go. Now, with the Yuzu emulator, um, it's gonna have to, like, every time you do something new on the game, it's gonna stutter because it's doing a shader catch, which is fine because after that, it runs really, really smooth. So we're gonna go ahead. I think I'll use uh, Koopa Trooper. That's my boy. He's been Mario Kart. Hey. That's been the homie ever since uh, Mario Kart One. And everything else should be mapped. Uh, let me show you this real quick. So if I press the X button and then go over to controls, control settings. There's also uh, there's a gamepad control in here as well. But you can also edit layout. And you can change all your button settings. But we're gonna go back because everything is just the way we want it. And we're gonna go in there and play one race. We'll do a hundred because I ain't gonna let you guys see me get my ass kicked on here. But this controller, there's no lag at all. It's so good. And also, you can do the same thing with uh, you can do the same thing with PlayStation controllers. Uh, I think 8-Bit Do is a good company that gives out or they make really good Bluetooth controllers. You can get some that are really compact or full full size like a pro controller that are about the size of an Xbox controller. And I think that I have one somewhere in here. No, actually I don't. I might have gave it away. Anytime you want to load up there, Mario Kart. Anytime. And you can see that it's running really good. So also in Yuzu, you can change your scaling settings. And you can set uh, 60 FPS on here. But a lot of the games that are on the Switch are uh, capped at 30. I'm going to whoop these folks real, real quick. Get out of my way. Get that power slide action going. Set that aside right there. Get that power slide real quick. Get my power up. All right. Let's go ahead and get this first place and keep it. I'm going to get quiet because I want to focus. Oh, man. Look at that. No, man. It's not happening. Yeah, let's go ahead and take him out right now. How dare you? <laughs> this is my racetrack. Get rid of that one. But we're not doing that here. Like T'Challa said, we don't do that here. And hopefully the camera can pick up how uh, smooth this is. I'm going to take that one. I'll eat that one. Go. 
Yeah, they're not catching up. You guys see it on the map. That's a wrap. They would hit me with that, with the lightning bolt. It's all good. They're not gonna catch up anyway, I'm too far ahead. Ink means nothing. I was going in the dark. I looked like they're gonna hit me with something else. Bruh, what's going on? They're really trying to get that dub. They're gonna hit the ground running fast before they can. They always give me like uh, stupid ass sh um, <laughs> stupid um, coins instead. There's nothing though. Easy dub, man. Easy dubs. But anyway, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this too um, by pressing the X button. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get out of this as well and uh, exit the game. And uh, let's go in there and manually close that. But anyway, uh, so now we're back to Steam Deck. Um, yeah, that's how you hook up your uh, Steam Deck to a Bluetooth controller. Very, very easy. And uh, I hope that my video was helpful. I hope you were entertained. Make sure you like and subscribe and share the video, man. It uh, helps me out because we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. And um, you know what? I appreciate you guys that have been sticking with me through the years. And I'm going to try to do my best to improve the channel as we go. But anyway, I won't keep any longer. And plus, I got to go to sleep. Um, yeah. See you on the next video. Dark Skater out. Peace.